check this out. Uh, before we get into today's video, um, this was a gift that somebody, hello, somebody 3D printed for me. It is actually, it's a clock. The minute hand is here, the hour hand is here. So it is, it's around 11.20, and you can kind of see how that works. Is that awesome? I will, I don't know, I'll put it somewhere, somewhere behind me. I don't know, over here or something. Uh, I'll hang it up. Uh, but very gracious. Uh, I already forgot the guy's name. I'll put it in, um, I'll, I'll put his first name down below when I edit the video. Uh, so hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. And uh, today we're talking about Islander Brookville. I have two. I have two, two. Two new colors to show you today. Uh, the third one, that's why I almost went with three, uh, is the Robin's Egg Blue. I, I re-released it a couple months back, uh, maybe about six weeks ago. Uh, it has Islander written across dials, but I will show that one here. But we have two hot new colors that are, I think are really cool. Perfect for spring. One of them is a, uh, a minty green. And then the other one, a lot of people have been clamoring for a white dial. I didn't want to do a creamy white, uh, much like the Sarbo 35. I wanted to do a stark white. This is a stark white with gunmetal hands and indices, and it, it pops. It looks awesome. So we will check those out from my own wrist check. It is a, uh, a premiere day of sorts. It's March 3rd, and today Marathon released their Jumbo Day Date Arctic in, uh, in full white. Uh, and that's what I'm sporting on my right wrist, 46 millimeters. Swiss made watch, a, a monster if you will, but an awesome one. And on my other wrist, uh, the Northport blue to white, a lot of names been tossed around, but I'm going to call it ISL 195 for now. Outselling the Fireball, which really shocked me. Uh, I put it on one of uh, the sky blue FKM rubber straps that I sell. Um, excuse me, that we sell. Uh, I wore this watch on vacation recently, and it is it is beautiful. A beautiful summer watch. So uh, forget summer watches. Let's talk about spring watches. Let's see the three new Brookvilles. Okay, here we are. I'm showing you three, three Brookvilles. Two of them are really new. This guy is kind of a revisit. So this is the ISL 85. The ISL 85 came out a couple of years back. Um, sold a lot of them. And then this time when I reiterated it, uh, we had decided to add Islander under the logo just to be consistent among these. Um, a lot of people have asked if I'm, I'm going to go back to a lot of the older divers and do the same. I'm probably not. Maybe on the dress watch just looks a little bit better. Um, but just so quickly before we get into the two new guys, I will spend just a minute just to show you the ISL 85, which is the Robin's Egg Blue Islander. This is the Close to being one of our best-selling watches of all time. Uh, this or the ISL 18, really close in numbers. So, uh, like I said, like the original 85, just has, there we go, just has uh, Islander added under the logo. It is a 30, these are all going to be the same. So, it's a 38 millimeter case by 11 thick by 44 and a half. I'll do the full up on one of the other newer colors. I just want you guys to see this guy. Uh, 349 bucks for any of the ones you are about to see. So this is your Robin's Egg Blue. So I wanted to do a fun color, if you will, something a little more pastel-y, maybe good for, um, good for springtime, which is obviously, ah, thank goodness, right around the corner. So let's get into this. This is the ISL 209 with the mint green dial. So again, so 30 millimeters in diameter, 11 thick to a flat sapphire crystal, it is 44 and a half millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. It is a screw down exhibition case back. Uh, flat anti-reflective crystal, 20 millimeter lug, uh, solid link, solid end link, sized with screws, three position micro adjust clasp. There you go, push button, opens, closes. Satisfying. Uh, let's see. Water resistant. Oops. Water resistance is 100 meters. Screw down crown. It runs on a Miyota 9015, which is a 28,800 beat per hour movement, 40 hour power reserve, hand winds, hacks. Yes, this does have a ghost position, but not a ghost click. 
the mechanics underneath have been removed. The indices and hands on this guy are done in silver. I think you can see that clearly. If I go into the lens, you might get lens reflection and it appears black. It's not. I will go off and there's all white above and around the lens. So you will see that it is indeed a silver, silver applied markers and indices. I'll come up as close as I can on the dial. I'm having fun with a new lens today actually for videos. Not a new one, just I don't use it that often for videos. But you can see, I think it looks, I think it looks really swell, right? It's a nice looking watch. I think it's a great color. I don't know what the kind of straps you would put on it, but I'm sure people will figure it out. Uh, but being an Islander Brookville, it's compatible with the other style bracelet, which is, you know, this style, and we sell it. Um, so you can buy that if you want to swap it out. It's 20 millimeters, so you can really get any other kind of strap you want, whether it be rubber, leather, nylon, etc. And also, if you did want, we do sell a fluted bezel that will press into this case. Um, it's rather simple. Uh, you would pop off this bezel, you have to take the crystal with it because the crystal doesn't come with the bezel and then you just reinstall it. If you're a fluted guy or gal, most of the uh, Brookvilles I'm doing now you'll notice are all going to be smooth simply because that's what people really, that's what people said, that's what, you know, I listen, that's what they said. So that's what we're doing. So 349, 125 grams by the way, any of these. So this is the one. I don't know, I really, really love how this came out. Yeah, I know it's simple, right? It's just white, but it is a stark white. It is paper white. It is glove white. It's not silver. You cannot misconstrue this white in any way, shape, or form. And then to maintain pop and easy to read on the hands and indices, they're done in gunmetal. So even as I hold it off angle, you will see they, they are not black. They are very, very deep gray, as are the applied indices as is the date frame. So the date on this one is neatly tucked at the six to maintain lovely dial balance. I don't want to call it symmetry, I'm going to call it balance. Screw down crown as well, same exhibition case back. The bracelet again, solid link, solid end link size with screws, very comfortable. It is a 20 by 16, meaning 20 at the lug, 16 at the, ah! <laughs> 16 at the clasp. Uh, I will try them on momentarily. We'll also do loom. Just a quick little commercial of what's coming on, uh, what's coming up. I am working on, a lot of people have been asking for a negative or female end link bracelet for these watches. I am working on it, but it's going, going to be what we would call, I guess, what Strapco calls an end mill. It's kind of an oyster with a little bit of a curve to the link itself. You probably know the name of the bracelet type. I cannot say it. Um, there have been 40-something of them in the U.S. as of today, if you know what I mean. Okay, so that's that. Oh, also, what else is coming up? And I, I guess I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. Um, whenever we talk about new releases coming up, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to wait for that. But I think it's worth noting. A lot of people have said, hey, the 38 is too small. We are getting closer and closer to a 41 millimeter Brookville. It can be called the Brookville 41 or the Upper Brookville, which is actually really cool because Upper Brookville is a, is a village on Long Island. Uh, but totally different dial colors, uh, but it is going to be a 41 millimeter case, and they're actually going to be done soon. We've been working on the case for a little bit now. Uh, let's see. Let's do the, let's do the loom and uh, wrist shot. So there you go, the white dial is in my left hand and the mint dial is in my right hand. You can tell by the absence of the date on the right and the absence of the marker on the left. Uh, double Kit Kat or just single Kit Kat, I guess, right? Because a Kit Kat is two cats. Yummy. Kit Kat at the 12 for your orientation. Hands are easy to read, easy to distinguish. Uh, let's, see. Uh, let's see how it looks on the wrist. So there you go on my six and a half, six and three quarter inch wrist. Plenty of room. I'd say these probably go up to like a seven and a half to a seven and three quarter. Very comfortable. Um, I do wear, I wear a robin's egg, Brookville. I also wear a gray dial, uh, the anthracite. Um, I might have one more in my collection. I love them. They're very comfortable watches. Fits, it fits me fantastic. You know, a note on, I guess, you know, I thought this, I really, when we went to production, this is the one I ordered more of. I ordered less of this one. Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of wish I would have flip-flopped it a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, 
Uh, but this looks really, really cool with the white dial. Um, but of course, all three are awesome. And there's other Brookvilles too. There is a two-tone Brookville. There is an Aventurine dial Brookville. Brookville line is going to continue to expand. And I think that's where we wrap it up. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you two new Islander Brookvilles and one that had a little bit of a change to it. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, anything else you want to say, you can put it down below and I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.